I'm on a walk. On a walk. Lucy's on a walk. People and stuff, why are you out by yourself? That makes no sense. Uh, um, I I'm careful. Um, I, hey, I everybody's wasn't careful. careful. No, see, we're being <laughs> careful by coming up to you to talk to you. You know, if you're sneaking around town and stuff like that, you're going to look like a suspicious motherfucking chooch. You know, and people are going to come up at you, and, and they're going to, you know, they're going to ask you questions like we're doing right now, you know. No disrespect to you. I understand you're a kid and everything, but, you know, you got to learn. Yeah, Thomas. What if I, what if I went and thought she was one of them dead fucks kind of wandering around waiting to bite somebody? I might have shot at you, too, and, and you know, maybe if I want to hit you or something, I would have felt real, real bad about it, Thomas. I don't yeah, want to hurt you. Absolutely. Uh, I, I wasn't, though. No, we know you weren't. It's now, but, you know, we could have seen it differently, but we're trying to let you know. Also, Thomas, dear, if you're trying to be sneaky, you might want to get better at it. I don't mean to be rude or anything, but, I mean, we did see you from a mile away. Uh, um, I, I wasn't careful. Okay, yeah. Okay, so and obviously, if you weren't careful in like this instance, then it did sort of wind you up in this predicament. I mean, <laughs> you're lucky. We're nice enough people. I mean, but if it had been someone else, you know, I wouldn't have wanted anything to happen to you. That would have been a pretty... Yeah, especially that, a kid like yourself, you know? A lot of nasty people out there, Thomas. You gotta be careful of the, of the bad ones. Luckily, luckily you found us. Uh, I'm not sure. I think I met him before, but I don't know. as we can be. So obviously... Yeah. A kid of your caliber that's very fucking nervous, there's no way you could have survived on your own all this time. So, obviously, you must have some friends out there helping you. Um, yeah. I, I don't know where they are. You laugh. What? So you don't alive. have no kind of radio contact with your compadre and no, out there looking I, for you. I I don't think they are. I'm on a walk. Yeah. Yeah. Dangerous times to be walking by yourself. Yeah. Now Thomas, if you don't mind me inquiring, why are you so I don't know, a little bit skittish almost, like you're like you're real afraid of something. What you so afraid of, Thomas? I... I I'm not... <coughs> scared. No. Mm, there's nothing wrong with us, Thomas. We're not dumb. Why... Why... Why is she wearing a mask? Mm, why don't you ask? Why not? Yeah, I asked. Mm. Come on. Monsters wear those masks. <laughs> and monsters? Really? You know, I have yeah. a fucking scar on my face, you know. This is the reason why I'm wearing this mask. Oh, that's right, that's right. You're you're that pretty little thing from the other day. Long while ago. I ain't seen you in quite some time. How you doing, by the way? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, yeah. I think we, uh, we met a... Oh, that's fucking right. It was right here in Dolina, wasn't it? I think I said I hope before. there's no sort of hard feelings about what happened that night. No. We was just trying to be... Real civil like. Didn't want nothing bad to happen to nobody. Just wanted to make sure if there was some sort of situation that it got resolved in the best possible course of action.
I'm sorry, Cupid, but do you know this woman? Yeah, yeah, see, we... That's a long story, pretty. I, I don't even know if I can recollect every single minute detail of that night, but there was a lot to happen, per se, involving maybe some police officer, some sort of regular tour, or something like that. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah we had that we had that girl uh, incarcerated or something. Uh, who was it? Yeah, something like that. Well, I believe it was a pretty little thing right over here with the uh, with the clown man. Oh yeah, I was pretty pumped on fucking coke though that day, so I'm sorry, I can't recall everything. Uh, <sighs> <laughs> oh, I have a little bit of uh, bad feelings right now. Products that are not quite so easy to ascertain nowadays. We are not going to have said products for other necessities. Oh, no, no. Look, I still have uh, the same product. That was before. That was the day we actually met. <laughs> See? I'm still holding on to what I was giving to. Tony, dear, it's okay to enjoy little things every once in a while. I mean, what's life oh, without enjoying stop yourself? But from enjoying myself once in a while. I'm not even high on coke <laughs> right now, so uh, let's all chill the fuck down. You know, everything's I'm okay. Just if you decide to enjoy yeah. yourself too much, it's gonna be a problem for me, Tony. It's gonna be a problem for a lot of us. Well, since the hypothetical kitty is out of the bag, I suppose I should ask everybody here if perhaps there's some sort of vice that you would need adjusting. Perhaps some sort of necessity that we could satiate through some sort of business transaction. Um, no, I'm all right. You sure? Pretty fucking bomb, I'll tell you. No, uh, I'm okay. You know, sometimes I was you want to get away, just think about something else for once, and your fucking problems all day. Hey, no, is everything all right? Hmm? A different distraction. Uh, um, yeah, um, yeah. Is this possible that we have uh, met before? I'm not sure. What? Um, maybe we met us before. Um, was you the guy who was searching for a girl? Hmm? Uh, Maybe um, it was another guy. I'm sorry, no, my I'm mistake. Since I was 14, so it doesn't really affect me the same way it would affect you. I'm very well aware of what's going on at the present moment. If I am, you know, jacked up as they call it. <laughs> I'm gonna. Why don't you just tell us you wasn't one, under the One day you'll, you know, no, no, no. You'll, I'll, I'll earn your trust. You'll see. One day, you'll see. Oh, no, Tony, you do have my trust. It's just if you betray that trust, it's gonna... it's gonna upset Yeah, well, I wouldn't I'm expect otherwise. It <laughs> <laughs> never, never happened that night when uh, that Mr. Regulator kind of strolled off with y'all. I didn't really... Uh, uh, Thomas? I didn't really know. I'm sure they were here, but... You know... Um, Maybe we uh, walk a little bit. It's too loud here. Too many voices. You're not scared. Yeah, maybe we should take a little step to the side, have a have a nice little talk with each other. You're holding on to that pumpkin, I Um, I I don't want to drop it, and I I won't have anything to eat. You know, <coughs> it's a it's a little bit sad story. You know, Chase um, Chase tried to help me. Said I 
can escape and, uh, and he uh, <laughs> you know <laughs> he smashed his fist in the face from this fucking regulator and knocked him out uh, but before the regulator was knocked out uh, he fired a pair shots uh, at Chase and hit him you know And uh, I thought something like that may have happened, seeing as how Mr. Lee's officer was talking about incarceration and some sort of therapy. Seeing you here now with your pretty little boyfriend, I can see that things didn't go so well for Mr. Police Officer. I'm actually a little surprised you didn't just outright kill the man. I mean, that's probably what I would have done in your shoes. Uh, it. You know, it was a bad day, and I I thought that uh, Chase was dead. You know. But no, I'm gonna interrupt really quickly to let you know somebody's up the hill over there. Doesn't look armed, but coming down. Just let you. Okay. Uh, well, all right then. And I'll have to say a little hello to them as well eventually. But, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you are, you are just one riddle wrapped in an enigma for me, pretty. I, I just kind of want to unwrap no, that little well mystery up. one of these days. Yeah. I'm assuming yeah. things don't pan out with your pretty little boyfriend. You have someone who might be visiting as well? Maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know who this might be. I don't know. He walks uh, to the town. Uh, maybe um, we take a look. Uh, yeah, of course. So we're all squared off, ain't that right? Yeah, maybe I owe you one or something like that. So there's no hard feelings. I mean, I am a businessman after all. Mm, a businessman? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. All kinds of business. Me and my associates, you know, they deal with all sorts of things. Hmm, sounds interesting. You're welcome to come along, Thomas, if you want. Yeah, like I said, yeah, we're going to hurt you. It's a pleasure to have you around. I'll try to let this up with them. Let's head on over. Chase, honey! Can't just let a kid out here on his own. Chase, come to me. No, right. What's the matter? Why you are all the time by this... Bitch, huh? What do you mean? You wouldn't happen to know anybody and Do you like her? She's my friend. Friend, uh-huh. I hope I hope it for you that she's only a friend and not more. <laughs> Don't worry about it, okay? Actually, a little bit more preoccupied. It'll come in juncture. So I'm passing the friend over there. Seems like there's a little trouble in the paradise. I had my way, I'd be opening up Pandora's box at night. I don't know. I don't have to wait for that. Well, the last time that was so many people in Dolina were for two weeks or so. Fucking hell. And by the way, this uh, house on the right side is my house. Oh, leg again. Oh, leg, why? And I'm overheating all the time. I'm not running and I'm overheating. Fucking hell. Wow, leggy. Yeah, yeah, of course. Maybe we should 
talk a little business. Oh yeah, I got his uh, I got his digits on radio, so uh, uh, we can keep in contact. That is really uh, beautiful. Chase, um, you stay here, eh? I uh, I must talk with this with your friend. Oh, some food. Oh, tuna. That's nice. Thank you, honey. <laughs> Stay here, honey, stay here. Only talking uh, right. between woman and woman, you know. I'm uh, sorry that I uh, interrupt this uh, conversation here, but, uh, you know. Um, Let's uh, talk a little bit from woman to woman. Mm, sure. Yeah, let's uh, let's walk a little bit. I don't think so. I'm gonna stay close to my um, well, to the boys. You know, they're hopeless with that. Uh, don't be scared, honey. Only a little conversation. But we can stay here. Mm -hmm. But um. You, um, shy guy, um, please go to the other guys here. Yeah? It's private. That's fine. If you wouldn't mind, just give me one moment. I'm gonna let the boys know that we're gonna have a talk. Okay, I stay here. Oh, it's getting dark, really? Ooh. <coughs> Where's Shy Guy going? I think they're talking about Cat and Melody Murdoch. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing in my house? Huh? 
This is my fucking house here. This is my house for months. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, but uh, no, um, please ask me before you enter my house, yes? Sure, I can do that. Yeah, yeah, sure. So I was just uh, looking for some cloth or something to try and start fire or something. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Where's the guy with the cowboy head? I don't know. Yeah, let's take a little walk. You know, I'm a little bit um, pissed about the situation between you and uh, my little boyfriend, you know. I'm not quite sure what you mean. I think uh, he uh, likes you a little bit too much, you know. I don't see how I have any control over that. Yeah, but you know, he's my boyfriend. Mm, that's fine, you can have him. If you are concerned about it though, you're gonna have to rope him back. So um, this means you are not you are not you are not interested uh, interesting in, in this guy. Hmm? No, hmm. I mean maybe interested in other ways, but not in the kind that you're worried about. I don't oh. care for this boyfriend of yours in any sort of physical way. Sure, oh, that's a uh, yeah. around a new, another friendly face, but I don't want him. You know what I mean, girl to girl. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Oh, mm -mm, he's all yours, darling. I mean. <laughs> yeah, that's that's that's, that's that's pretty nice, and uh. You know, <laughs> um, yes, yeah, this is a secret, and I hope uh, you don't tell this any other guy. Um, but uh, Chase is a, uh, you know, <laughs> a virgin. He's a what? Virgin. I'm asking him today. You know. Hmm. You asked him what? I'm sorry. Um, I said um, he's he's a virgin. Whoa, who's this? Hello. Hmm, I'm not sure. Who are you? Yes. Why, you know, I have a house here and uh, it's a little bit dark, but I think I have uh, never seen you before here in Dolina. Okay. 
Kaiser. Okay. But I never heard this name before. Yeah, really. <laughs> no, but you know, I'm really busy and um, I'm not every day here, you know. So, um, uh, what, what is your name, hmm? Yes, your name. You have one, right? Mary Kate. Interesting name. And um, do you have a house here? Ashley, um, ne never heard this before. Um, have you a house here? I mean, are, are you living here in this town? Okay. Maybe um, you want to go with me to the other guys, hmm? Mm, why not? I think it's better as uh, to walk alone in the dark. <laughs> yeah, not the boogeyman, but you know, some bad people may be around here. You know, for a month or two months, um, the fucking reapers came to the city here and take everyone hostage, you know. All the fucking Chidakis, you must be careful if you walk alone. You can do uh, whatever you want. Um, maybe we are here, so um, you uh, yeah can visit us later if you want. Goodbye. Overheating all the fucking time. Can we do a second? I'm on a... Right 
Can you see anything with this binoculars in the fucking dark? Hmm? <laughs> Have your binoculars a uh, night vision or what? I know, I get a sauna sometimes. You see how the dirt, the dirt over there, first so everything off is kind of a lightish color. The forest around it is darker. See? I was looking for outlines. Hmm, ah, okay. Because if someone's wearing a brighter colored clothing, where the clothing doesn't match the color with the, um, if the clothing, if the person's clothing doesn't match the landscape, then you can easily see their outline most of the time. Hmm. Hmm. Who was that? There's a lot of people, there's a lot of people here now. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of people. It's the last time that uh, there are so many people in Dolina were for two weeks or so. I collect some wood. Would you like to use my axe instead? Because you used the chainsaw earlier, you could have scared a couple people. So leggy, fucking hell. Yeah, I just like walk up to you and um I didn't recognize you guys talk Murray and say hello. It seems you can't control how some people react to their environment. Yeah. Seems to be a lot of people doing. Well if you want to talk anything, I'll be ready. Uh huh, uh huh. I've been there, right? I'm not okay. Um, actually, that feels a bit lonely to be honest, but I'm okay now. Oh, why slick? Fucking hell. Campfires, okay, that's nice. Double the pleasure. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. See, this is why we needed a fire. You didn't even see that we were both making a fucking fire at once. Right next to each other, mind you. I'm still like a fucking dummy. Fucking lick again. Do you have to wear oh, that mask? Hell, yeah. Really feel a lot better if you didn't. Oh, the mask? Why are you talking about the fires? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I mean, you just seem a little cold and alone all the way over here. She, uh, fire, she has she a nice scar on the face that she's not very comfortable with. Company. 
and that's why she's mask. hiding it with the mask. But I, I don't think she needs it, you know. You should embrace who you are. You know, fuck what others think. You don't need to, don't need to worry about what others think. You know. Yeah, you know, but uh, I, f I, I feel me better with a mask. The sky is so ugly. Well, to make you feel better. Well, as long as you're not popping out from the dark and going blah, you know, I'm fine. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Hmm. I'm sure it's fine. I don't think it matters. What matters is the people yeah. that wore those before. And you're making your weird on your face, silly. Yeah, no reason to hide your pretty face. Yeah. I've seen it anyway. You, I don't think there's nothing wrong with it. I can't all have, have uh, differences. <laughs> is this better for you? Hmm? Hmm. Yeah, well, they tried to kill me. Is what I tried to do for Maddie. You know. Oh, so fucking clusterfuck. You feel pretty girl. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Why is there ropes sitting here? There's nothing wrong with your face. I mean, we're all a little different nowadays. Can we talk for a sec when you get a moment? There's a lot of people here now. Hmm. I'm sure that yeah. could be a range. Yeah. A lot of fucking people. Oh god, the legs killed me. Fucking legs. <laughs> oh, so romantic. <laughs> oh, wait Very fucking lively. Mason Thompson, I a guy was named Mason. Mason, uh, but I think I know there are two Mason. I, so one would uh, be called um, Mace. I'm, oh, it's Mace. Oh, oh. I think I have to take some 
Och. <laughs> you better watch it, cause Cupid will talk her ear off. Maybe do some other things off too. He's kind of a sly dog. Don't call him Cupid. I don't mind her. Uh, I just am a connoisseur of conversation. That's all. Especially with a pretty young lady like yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh, Cupid's a good one for the compliment. <laughs> yeah, she says that, but, uh, I mean, the other day, you should have saw her. She was being the fly dog. Had this pretty young lady she was talking to, and she was practically all... Hey, there. wake up. Oof. She's very modest about it, but I assure you, she was the one talking pants off that night. <laughs> Uh, it's not my fault that I just combine it naturally. I mean, some of us don't have to try as hard as others. <laughs> hey, wake up. <laughs> hey, wake up. Hey, wake up. <laughs> hey, wake up. Well, then you can't complain, right? <laughs> At least if you did, it's not like anyone would listen anyway. Christ, it's late. Man. Not a joke, eh? So quiet here. Like somebody uh, died. Uh, you need anything from the last time we talked with you? We're still getting those supplies. I got a little something for you. Hey, well, wake up. Somewhere. <laughs> a little more private. A little bit of business. Ready, of course. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a very, I'm not a very picky man, Mr. Mate. If you perhaps had a little bit of extra food or something like that, or something. Hey, that you wake up! Longer, I know one of my, one of my compatriots over here has a, a little bit of a need for such a thing. I'm sure we can make some sort of arrangement for something like that. Yeah. That's why I like doing business with you, Mr. Hey, Mayor. wake up. Maybe this house over there here is a little bit quiet. As you can see here, Mr. Mace, I 
just a, you know, it was like too quiet, you know, I'm just gonna stand here, out of the light. Hey, wake up. And uh, keep an eye on things. Okay, I'm sure we can do it alright. Yeah. yeah, there we go, but that'll do nicely. Oh, Mr. Mason, you are, you are very generous. I'm sure that's okay with you. <laughs> hey, wake up. Hey, wake up, fucking hell. Maybe I can come by the fire a little bit. Jason. Let's take a little walk. Hey, wake up. I know, I know that you like this fucking bitch more <laughs> as you, <sighs> this is a little bit hard for me, you know, <sighs> it's, it's uh, really um, a little bit hard for me now. Um, you know, you know the first time we met us, um, faceless, yeah. and you, on yeah. the streets, yeah. Yeah, I remember. You know, um, Maria, Maria is, uh, you know, Maria was a lesbian, you know, you know what mm -hmm. I mean. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know you mean. Uh, but faceless, um, yeah, faceless. Um, the other side, you know, she, uh, mm -hmm. she likes you. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm Bloody Mary, you know. Yeah. I am. Maria and Faceless together. You know what I mean. We are one person yeah, now. Yeah. One fucking person. Yeah, I got you. And I have yeah, noticed... I have noticed that you... have an eye on this fucking bitch, you know? So? She's my mm. friend. Yeah, your friend. I see it in your fucking eyes. You love her. No, I don't. Don't lie to me. I'm not lying. You are lying. No, I'm not. But I was talking to her today. You know, this little talk between girl and girl, hmm? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you know, 
Right. You are only a friend for her, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come on, honey. <laughs> you are not the first person who broke my heart. But what would I do? <clears throat> you know it. I already told you she's just my friend. Yeah, your friend. I saw it today. You was every time on her fucking side. That doesn't mean anything. Oh, sure, 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 yeah. Do you think I'm a fucking dumb ass? No. Hmm. No. I, I. I know you're not dumb. Of course. What do you think? What happens now? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I thought we were going for a walk. Yeah, we walk a little bit. Why well, are you going up here anyways? I just walk, but we're going up in the mountain. Yeah, I love, I love walking in the woods at the night. You know. Yeah, nature, nature is nice. Yeah, and look at this beautiful full moon. Yeah. It's nice, honey. Hmm. It's nice. Yeah, it is nice. And now, don't lie to me and tell me the true. Mm -hmm. How much you like this fucking bitch? I told you already. Oh, you. honey, honey, honey. Mm -hmm. Honey, honey, honey. I think I can't trust you. Well, I don't care, not. You are lying. No, I'm not. I saw you both today. And you <laughs> running after her like a fucking dog. You have only eyes for her. Hey, wake up. I don't know what the hell you mean by that. <laughs> um, sorry, what? I don't know what you mean by that. <sighs> honey, honey, honey. a little bit hard for me, you know. It's hard. I have oh, not hard. I have not many friends. Really not many friends. I mean, you know, you you are you are more as a friend for me. Much more. But I have the feeling 
said you don't play with me. I uh, mean, I said that you do play with me, you know. Play with my heart. Hmm. No, I'm not. So. So tell me, what do you really want from me? I want you to be happy. I to told you this before, that's what I want. To be happy? Yeah. <sighs> to be happy, okay. I offer you today to come with me in my house to make me happy. And what did you mm -hmm. say? Hmm, yeah, maybe later. Fucking hell. What do you think? What I feel now? Hmm? Um, I imagine you're probably mad or something? Oh yeah, that's right, that's fucking right. So, you know, before I lost my heart completely, this is the end, you know, we, we, we are not a couple, you understand? No, not Mary. Don't cry like a like a baby. This is the end, fucking end. But oh. I, I see it in your fucking eyes. You don't really love me. It's okay for me, it's okay. I can handle this, you know. I'm old enough to handle this. I mean, we can be friends, it's, it's okay for me, we can be friends. I... But will you be happy like that? Happy? Uh, not really at the moment. You know, you are not the first man who broke my heart. Fucking asshole. And you are lucky. You are really, really lucky that you was all the time nice to me. All the time. That is your luck, you know. Any other fucking guy, any other fucking guy, had I killed now, you understand, killed now, cut him in little pieces and drink the fucking blood. You are so lucky. I understand. Yeah, you understand. But you know, I want my fucking shotgun back. It was a gift for you, but no, I, okay. I want it back. Okay. There. That's nice. The mask that I give to you, 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 you can have it. Fuck this mask. This is yours. Okay.
But if you have any problems with your new girlfriend, don't come back to me. Don't come back to me. I don't see him, is he? Oh, it's so dark, I don't see him. Overheating all the fucking time, fucking hell. intimidates me or tries to push me into doing something, I'm not going to do something willingly. Darling, I was going to come here and talk to you in private about different. something. About something other than our own petty problems. This is a lot bigger than us, and you know that. What's going on here? Have you come to cry wolf at me again? Cry wolf? What have I cried wolf about? <coughs> Oh, Not that you are real pretty little head. It's just a little bit of a discrepancy among uh, among some individuals. Mm-hmm. Okay. Almost every time you come here, you're telling me, you're telling me how we're all in danger, everybody's at risk, and yet when I look and investigate, what it really is is that your folks are in danger because you. <sighs> I go to my house. I I need a few minutes. You want any company? I haven't come here saying everyone's in danger. Hmm? Oh, 
was just saying, you know, if you're going to your house, I was just wondering maybe you wanted any company. Oh, you know, um, it's uh, Mother Nature calling, you know, I'll be right back. So, AFK. That was strange. I don't mean to interrupt. Yeah, yeah. Boy, you see like, uh, talking to him already here? A lot of things going on here. A lot of personal uh -huh. matters. Thank you so much. No. We, we, we can talk after. Yeah, it's very helpful when people need medical services. All right, mm -hmm. no worries. He seems a very helpful gentleman, and follows the lot of things as well. Must be broken in. Haven't seen him like that before. Mind you, most times I've seen the range of sheep, he's been getting shot at. 
Well, then you haven't seen him like that before, and you haven't uh, hung out with him very long, then. Oh, well, the last time I was... Several months. ...was uh, in Delina with Chief. He got shot at. Sorry. He's always getting shot at. Always getting his people into trouble. I think he's simply doing what you think he's doing. Huh? Yes, he's probably doing that as well. Okay. I think he's not his way is a good way. Hello. Lock yourself. Okay. I'm okay. How are you? Well, good for the most part. Still alive, it's really all that matters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Clinic? Yeah. Yeah. Up at the thing? What did you say? Oh, Hello. I thought you were out there. Hello. Interesting piece of equipment. Yeah, I have a little bit of a question. Oh, so a clusterfuck here. Hmm? Look at the map. Let's say... Part of the masquerade shit? I have a scar on my face, you know. You may or may not be associated with everybody else. It's the scar. Same as the most scariest mask. I like this mask. It's beautiful. Honestly, there's a lot of people here, so if I was in a situation where there's a conflict, I usually just try to find my way out. It is beautiful. I'm not much of a pen. You don't show your scar to anybody. You hide it behind a mask. Um, maybe. Uh, we can talk a little bit, but, you know, too many voices here, maybe, uh, we walk a little bit, huh? Give me a moment. It's fine. Okay, I stay here. Wow, these voice legs. Yeah. <laughs> 
Small cluster houses down um, in that direction at the end of the road that y'all could use. They were by themselves, too. And they were good ways away from well, Nobody lives over there. Like, I'm not going to be wandering into somebody's home and get like a shotgun to my face, right? I don't I'm think so. Sure people tend to live. Um, yeah. Yeah. Nobody needs hostilities. <laughs> well, I know in a small area we could go to. Appendix 4. It's an old abandoned construction site. It's right. Okay. It's wonderful. We go to the woods, then we can eventually get to it. Um, I think over there. I can get to it really easily. I can get to it really easily. It's just right up the Well, it's not very dangerous. I mean, it's not going to be inside the site. There's a big open area. It's just, it's just really walled in. I should prefer to stand in the woods. As long as there's a place for me to rest up there, I'm good. Well, um, I don't want to stray too far from the town. I'm going to make sure the Thomas is all right. What's with all the commotion on going on? What commotion? Is everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Yeah, everything's fine. Hey. <laughs> Why you are hiding here, hmm? I'm not hiding. Not hiding, huh? Okay. Maybe you play um, hide and seek, hmm? <laughs> uh, don't be so shy, honey. Mm -hmm. um, um, I didn't um, hide good enough. Um, I'll try hiding again. <laughs> yeah. Do what you want. Are you, uh, pretty ladies can have your, uh, your talk, you know, between broads and stuff, yeah? Sorry, you're not hurting me.
Red barn, same thing. Same thing for the construction site. Well, if that was my idea, be technically. I don't care. Uh, okay. Now hold on, if I may interject. You're suggesting that we was trying to lead you away somewhere to want to spring some sort of trap on you or something. I mean, in retrospect, <laughs> I could just pull my gun at you and tell short, you to get on the ground and things away. like that. You know that I if we wanted to, you, you would have already, you would have already right. been told to, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. Nothing is going to stop people. us. Right, but there's a lot and of other people you may here have who know me. You may know that you can't get very far. Exactly. By the time they get involved, you want me to go where you want me to go. The fuck is all these assumptions? Alex, you deal with this. Yeah, fucking lady stuff. I'm just being precautious. Wow, women so it's fucking complicated. <laughs> I fucking know, right? I always suspect shit in this conversation. You know, it's like when they always think you're cheating or something. So I, would appreciate I mean, both the time you are. <laughs> but, you know. Now, what kind of man you take me for? You think I just go cheating on everybody on the ball? No, 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 I was speaking, fi I was speaking, figuratively it's speaking, you know, generally. Yeah, okay. When a woman thinks you're cheating, usually you are, you know. Shouldn't one of us take security? That's what I meant by that. Position? Just, just Heck, I fucking well, you, a couple times, but to tell you, the fucking broads deserved it. I had one bag in there, the barn, the was that there before? Time. She wouldn't shut up. The barn lit up. Was it like that before? There's nothing I can say to just make that disappear. It's unforgivable. Yeah. You don't trust me, I don't trust you. Why are you creeping around? <laughs> this guy. Original. 
Seems like we got ourselves a bit of an audience for this here discussion. That chief over there. Hey, Cupid, is that uh, you still? Yeah, yeah. This is oh, my friend Pat, the one I was Some telling you about. Time. Oh, Mr. Oh, hi, Pat. Buddy. Yeah. yeah. How's it going? How about we bring him here? I'm going pretty good. Um, we're looking for a doctor. Uh, there happened to be one around here at all. A doctor? They are no one doctors around here. Oh, fuck. About you, Mr. and Man, no one doctors around here. man here, Mr. What's Pat, he's looking for a doctor. What sort of doctor care do you... Sorry. Wait a minute. Uh, the one that kind of, you, you know... Aren't I'm, you from the shop? You too. You're yeah. the guy who told me about the airsoft tournament. You're yeah, the guy who told me about the airsoft tournament. tournament. Uh, did you end up meeting your friends? No, unfortunately not. I see, well we have a doctor here. Do you require medical aid? No, it's more of the, um... I think she's all right. Actually, I have no idea what the hell is going on around here. So, uh... Yeah, all right. You girls resolve what you need to talk about? I don't know, you girl talk? Then as how there's no blood and guts Dying everywhere. Sounds no. like good Looks shot. like everyone's okay. okay. Uh, the time gentleman knows what he's huh? Hey. Is this like one of those like fraternity parties? Is that why they're out so late? You know, I don't know. I didn't ask. Come on. Yeah, what is that? I don't fucking know. I see Mr. Rex, everything, everything was real kosher well, that's good. Like. Nobody got hurt, nobody... Wait, that's the only reason I recognize it. I'm still wearing the same thing. No backpack, no weapon, no anything. That's what's important. There's not a lot of stuff to find you got hurt, everything is okay. I'm just not I really lost my gun, unfortunately. I'm up for it. I'm up for it. I'm not a fucking not hey, listen, I'm with you. I may be a chooch once in a while. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I'm it's a smart chooch. I'm here to do for your services. And the crackhead. Looking out for <laughs> you. Mm -hmm. What's happening? You don't have me. Oh, just out of curiosity. Uh, I could have sworn you said you're, uh, you're counterpart your pretty little boyfriend i thought he was that uh mr williams or, or whatever his name was was it actually mr rex over there fuck this guy yeah i'm sorry i'm still getting used to everybody's name hmm? You know, I had a little conversation with my ex-boyfriend, you know. It's very nice to meet you. My name is Anthony Stewart. You probably already know that. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I was in the way No, I'm fine. I'm fine. No problem for me. He's an asshole. Whoever needs somebody to talk oh, to, yeah, somebody you know, to lend an ear, for? maybe a shoulder uh, to, to lean on. Taking a break. I mean, I'm, I'm always day. around. You know, get a lot of food mm, good to know. Right. Right. Actually, right. I, I use a bit of food. You do have some. Well, um, I mean, I have this. How did you find I mean, out? I don't know how much you like oh, fish. Okay, though, okay, but but um, my fucking mom, fish? I didn't get to eat. I haven't had fish in a while. It's technically too, not to be exact. Oh, God, so clusterfuck. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, you were the one 
calling people chooches? Uh, <laughs> Too many voices. Um, <laughs> maybe uh, we both take a little walk, hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Everything gets real loud around here. Yeah, and it's a, it's a little bit confused, you know. <laughs> Everybody talking. Yeah, yeah, all those, all those voices just kind of mix together after a while, become sort of like this uh, insatiable noise. Yeah. What'd you say your name was again? Cause I heard people refer uh, to you as Mary. Yeah, Bloody Mary is my name now. But uh, maybe you heard other names from me. Hmm? Maria. Yeah, or yeah. Faceless. Yeah, I heard you go by a couple different names. I mean, we all go by different names from time to time. Such as myself, you know, Cupid's really just a title. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you uh, told me you are a businessman, hmm? And uh, what for a business exactly, hmm? Yeah, all kinds of business, usually. Hmm. Sounds interesting. I keep my horizons open. That is over there. <laughs> Somebody you know. Seems like they're staring at us with a pair of binoculars. I don't know, it's it's so fucking dark. Uh, you wanna go say hi, find out why they're Oh, yes. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. Well, hello there. You're the curious one. Uh -huh. Seems like I upset him a little bit. Alright, just keeping security watch. Things were a little tense earlier, you know. Oh. A security oh, no, watch. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. <coughs> a tense situation. Oh, Anything in particular I should keep my eyes open for? Not really. I mean, I think the tensions calmed down, but you can never be too sure. Yeah. Uh, sounds like somebody's yelling over there. Something about perverts. I, I don't know. That seems like a bit of a security breach within itself. I don't know. I haven't checked into it. I mean, if you two are having a private thing. conversation, I wasn't eavesdropping or anything. Uh, oh, yeah, of course, of course. You know, you, you didn't do your job. I completely understand. See, me and this pretty young lady over here, we was just having a bit of a, bit of a no, talk. No, you're dating. Had... Yeah, well, only talking, you know. I mean, you kind of look like, like you were dating. That's, I think it's nice to want to see people in love, you know? It's always, uh, brings warmth to my heart, if you will. Gives me hope. Well, you are, you are rather forward, my friend. What's your name again? Rainer. What, Marina? The Rainer. <laughs> yeah. uh, what do you think, Mary? I'm not sure. Mr. Rainer, me and what? this young lady. We were just getting to know each other a little better. Uh, 
I had a rather rough day. I just wanted to alleviate any sort of stress you may have uh, accumulated. Yes, that's always good therapy. Yeah, yeah, like therapy. I'm very therapeutic with my words. I thought I'd let you know, make sure you, uh, you understand, like, nothing crazy or suspicious was happening over here. I mean, if you gonna, you two wanna fuck, I mean, I'd prefer if you do it in, like, a cabin or the like, but I mean, I, you know, <laughs> public displays of affection just make me feel awkward, that's all. Now, for something that makes you feel awkward, you are keeping a very keen eye with the binoculars. Because it's my duty. I'll see on as a place of sanctuary, and I plan to keep it that way. Hmm. Do you require an house? <laughs> me, do you require a house to, to stay at? I know there's a few available if you need to continue your act, if you need to, you know, need a bed or something. A bed? <laughs> That's so, um, old school, you know. I mean, if there's a stall nearby as well. <laughs> well, I guess that's more the latest choice, to be honest. I, the book I read um, suggested that people consecrate love in such places, beds, um, uh, stalls, you know, behind trees, bushes, large shrubs. Yeah, or uh, in front of other peoples. Hmm? And some people feel uncomfortable doing so. I've actually seen that happen once, and a man literally <laughs> vomited at the event. <laughs> Sounds like he has some sort of disorder. If he uh, wants to vomit at the side of a few people becoming very acquainted Public with one another's body. Public affection makes me feel uncomfortable. Simple as that. Especially when it becomes close contact. Nothing too close contact has, a, has occurred between me and, uh, and her quite yet. But, and again, that's I mean, the young lady's you choice, to do. whether she... I mean, I'd prefer if you didn't go in the greenhouse up, up there on the... That's where the dean sleeps, and she, well, I don't think she'd like yeah. if someone used her room. But I mean, from besides that, you could do whatever you like. Yeah, you know, I have uh, I have a house here in town, so uh, you know, I need no other house for doing things. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure the young lady can make her decisions by herself. I'm sure she uh, could use her own home should she feel the need. <laughs> yeah. You two seem to be getting so long, we already have limited housing, why not live together? <laughs> you know who you're talking to. Huh? <laughs> I don't think Cupid's the settle down type. Okay. Uh, I'm more of just a wandering soul, a hopeless romantic if you would. The, the fact that you speak with such negative connotation, you know, the truth will come true. If you stay here, then you are going to fail. You're a romantic that just hasn't succeeded yet. Yes, that's a better way to put it in words. <laughs> Optimistic attitude increases efficiency, which increases percentage of success. Yes? Flattery will get you everywhere, handsome. You call yourself a hopeless like romantic, you, that's not flattery. That's asking for self-pity, and you will receive none from me. Well, here I am, being very modest of myself, and you're over here, almost building me up on some sort of pedestal. Seems like flattery to me. Trust me, I have people I'm interested in. I'm not into what you have to offer. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, well, Cupid, it seems like someone beat you at your game. Oh, I've encountered a man like him before. I actually had a comrade no. similar to him. 
Before he was killed by the infection, he was quite a romantic. I don't remember if he had bright eyes. Like a brigade. <laughs> what is this? A race? Mm -hmm. You know that. A race to the coast or what? Maybe they're gonna have some sort of beach party. B -b -b beach party. <laughs> don't you don't have to worry about them. They're just they're doing some therapy. An ongoing client. Uh, uh, a little bit of therapy, huh? Yeah. If I been up all fucking night, well, that wouldn't surprise me with your vices that you have. I hear they can keep you very lively on your feet. Are you feeling all right, Mr. Chooch? Yeah, I'm feeling all right. Very nice of you. Got, you got this runner boy over here calling you Mr. Chooch, huh? Yeah, it's all right. I don't think I'm going to do that way. What do you mean? I mean... I thought that was your name. I mean... Mm, thank you. Uh, you could call me Roach. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe, um, let's, uh, walk away, you know. Oh, God. So many talking like fucking ducks. Fucking hell. You know, if you just want to get me alone, just me and you, you can always just tell me right now. It's not like I'm going to get up uh, any kind of negativity towards that. Yeah. Uh, this fucking chase guy. Fucking asshole. Mr. Chase causing you some problems. You know, he, he is an asshole. Yeah, unfortunately, there's a lot of, lot of assholes out here. Cause problems for all sorts of people. I mean, if you would like, I could always have a discussion with this Mr. Chase. Try to ensure that he's not an asshole to you anymore. <laughs> Ah, uh, you know, um, I can handle this by myself. Yeah, yeah, of course. I do not mean to diminish your strengths in any way. Just saying, maybe if you, uh, if you want a helping hand, I could always be there to lend it. Whatever it may be. You know, um... <laughs> I, I can't, uh, I can't, um, hurt him at the moment. No, I mean, he, he's an asshole, but he was all the time nice to me, so... I'm not sure. Yeah, things like these take time. I'm not trying to rush you or nothing, you know. I can always give you my radio frequency. We can stay in contact. Should things change? Should you feel differently? I just want you to know I'm always there to help. Hmm. Yeah. Sounds nice. Yeah, it's always nice to have people out here who help you in your times of need. Especially when so many want to Take advantage and harm others and be assholes, as you say. Yeah. But, um, I have a little question, you know. This, um, black ambent here. I mean, um, you are a member of uh, some group or maybe you, um, have a wound on your arm, hmm? Yeah, I found this, uh, Couple rags, a 
times back and started wrapping around my shoulder. So many people running around like it's some sort of trendy style nowadays. See, people see me with this thing on, they say, oh, he must have friends nearby. Maybe he's part of so-and-so or part of so-and-so. I can say, yeah, yeah, I got friends all over. <laughs> and although it may be true, maybe it won't be at the time. Yeah, I understand, yeah. <laughs> Of course, I am part of a, a collection of individuals, like-minded business folk. See, we all came here together, actually looking for a man, Mr. Alexander Sinclair. It's sort of a benefactor, you could say. Came here with him to do some business in South Zagoria. But, uh, things didn't quite go uh, as planned. And we've sort of lost track of Mr. Alexander somewhere out here. Mm. Oh. Who is this? Is this a, the shy guy? Looks like the shy guy. Oh, Mr. Cottontail. Seems like he's just hopping along. Probably trying to catch up to everybody that went running that way. Yeah, maybe. What brings you out here? You a local of South Zagoria? Uh, you know, this is my country here. I was born here. Speak a very good English for somebody who's native yeah. of this country. You know. <laughs> Uh, my father and uh, my mom are from other countries, you know. My father was a Russian. Uh, my mother was born in Germany, but uh, she lived um, half of her life in uh, America, you know, fucking USA. Okay. Oh, pa German, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Very admirable in a lot of instances. Now, is there anything in particular you want to talk to me about? I mean, you keep pulling me off to the side, like, uh, like trying to get me all private, like, makes me think maybe there's something on your mind. Yeah, I'm interested in um, your business, you know. Uh, what do you need? Maybe I can accommodate you someday. Um, yeah, um, you know these uh, guys, they lived in Alcha. Guys living in Alcha. I can't say I was ringing any bells. I don't even think I passed through there any time recently. Yeah, there are some guys in Alsha and they lived there, you know. And this fucking asshole robbed me for two days. And stolen uh, yeah, an holy artifact, you know. And, stolen and, now. and banned, banned me from the city, you know. They banned me from a city, from my home country, these fucking assholes. Oh, and, uh, sound like a rowdy bunch. Yeah, and, uh, you know, I need a little revenge. Teach them a lesson, you know. Now, what exactly, what exactly are you propositioning here? Yeah, you know. First, I uh, want my sword back, you know, this artifact. And uh, second, um, they need a lesson that this is not their home here, you know. They are all foreigners. And not nice people, fucking assholes. I will um, torture them a little bit, you know. 
play some games. Uh, yeah, of course. You have any names, perhaps? It's gonna be kind of hard to find these these individuals. If I, I mean, I don't even know what they look like, really. Let alone what the names even are. I don't know all the names, but um, the leader is a girl, I think, and uh, her name is Jo. Jo? Yeah, Jo. Jo. Sound familiar. Can't quite remember if I heard that around here somewhere, if that was before everything. Hmm. I can always try to ask around, see if there's a Miss Joe anywhere. Yeah, this uh, would be nice. And an other name is um, Gregor or Gregory. Um, I mean, it was Gregor, but he is a nice one, you know. I met him in another city, and uh, he was pretty nice to me. Give me uh, some drink. We are talking a little bit, you know. So I, I am not, ha I'm not uh, hating all the people in Alcha, but uh, the most one, you know. But maybe um, you That's can, um, so you good. can, you can um, catch Gregor and, uh, yeah, ask him for. Um, some informations about the other, um, other guys they lived in Alcha and this fucking bitch Joe. Right, right. They have any sort of defining features, any kind of markings, maybe, maybe long hair, short hair, one of the eye colors, anything definitive. Hmm, this is hard. I saw her in the night and, uh, very hard to describe, you know, very hard. That's okay, it's no problem. I'm Miss Joe and I'm Mr. Gregor. Uh, you don't want us to hurt Mr. Gregor, right? I, uh, I don't want to hurt um, Mr. Gregor. All right, all right. We'll maybe try to scare him a little bit if he doesn't want to be very vocal about where his uh, his compatriots might be held up at. But uh, we'll we'll try not to try not to hurt any anything, you know. Vital. Yeah. Something like that. Well, I'm and overheating all the a fucking very time. Violent person. I much prefer to be persuasive. Oh, like. Hmm, who's coming there? A good question. I think that might be one of the people I talked up over there. I think I remember the name. See you around, Cupid. Yeah, see you around. Uh -huh. Goodbye. Be honest, I have no idea who that is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll definitely talk to my associates about this. See if maybe we keep a eye on the uh, Mr. Gregor and Ms. Joe. Joe. Yeah. Is it Joe or Joel? Joe. Joel, okay. Yeah, of course. No, maybe maybe later on down the line after well, assuming we can find them and uh, sort of correct some things. Maybe we can do some more business with each other, find something mutually beneficial for one another. 
Yeah. Sounds pretty nice. Uh, you stay in contact, pretty. Wanna go join my associates over there? Unless you got something else you wanna talk to me about. Um, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I didn't catch this. Oh, I was just saying. You know, I was gonna go join my associates over there. Unless you had something else you'd like to discuss with me in private. Oh. Hmm. Uh, maybe later, hmm? Uh, yeah, of course. Make sure we have each other's frequencies, so that way you can contact me whenever you may need me. Yeah, give me your frequency. I hope uh, you have a pen, because I have no pen. <laughs> give me a moment here. Slip of paper right here. This is usually the frequency I'm on. I don't should be afraid to try to get a hold of me anytime. I can always make time for you, pretty. Oh, top out. Fucking hell. <laughs> Looks like we got some more company. Oh, leg. Why, why it legs? Fucking legs. Holy shit. And so a massive leg. Nice day. Yeah, very pleasant out today. Oh, sweet. Yeah, you too, right? We have lots of big plans for the day. Pretty sure I know what that means. <laughs> yeah, a lot uh, to talk. Um, yeah. <laughs> a lot to talk between a woman and a man. You can uh, reach me on that frequency usually. I always try to make time for you. You can call me for anything, anything at all. Yeah, I will do this. Seems like you're about ready to give up. 
Seems like they're having right their own little debacle over here. Call life. Oh. And we'll help you. That's right. right. Because right now, I'm just seeing someone very sad and weak. Someone not who's sad and I'm not world. weak. World. No, 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 no. No, she, Alex, she, she's actually stronger than she thinks, you know. Yeah, deep in, inside, she knows she's a strong woman. And I can see it right into her eyes right there. I know you're sobbing up a little bit. I don't think you're gathering my hmm. point. I don't think you're gathering my point. This is the point of me poking and prodding, is to see what you actually have in there. You were about ready to cry, and now you're nearly biting my head off. That's good. You need to hold there on to that. that. Fucking fight her like you're gonna fight me. What's the problem with standing up for yourself for doing it right now? I don't see why you can't do it to her as well. You were about ready to, uh, <laughs> scrap with me. I could see it in your eyes. Fucking hold on to that. Use it again. It's useful, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a little bitch fight here, hmm? Uh, Gosho, oh. listen, if ever you what? need our help, uh, I'm just letting on? you know. We're here. I'm here. You know, I, I I don't appreciate this kind of shit. Why? When you're ready, you let me know. I won't I won't let her know that you brought me there. I'll just make it look like I happened to stumble across the fucking situation. It's not right. You gotta know that. So uh, you I'm know what I needed to say. That's all there is to it. I can help. Sounds like if my associates are saying such things, yeah, about you, I'm here too. I could probably lend a hand yeah, as well. Don't you? Sometimes you just gotta do it live, just stick a gun in somebody's face and tell them to shut the fuck up. Really? Absolutely. <laughs> and that's what this young lady here needs to learn. Well, oh, don't you worry. These, uh, these two right here are very trusted associates of mine. I'm sure they're very capable of helping in any way they deem uh, fit. can get your spunk back. I'm so, doing uh, it to help you. I may have to talk to you later. I'm fine. Yeah. Not really in front of everybody, you know. Since we have a little yeah. bit of a contract, you know. You know how home. that wife of yours said that she saw something in me? Who's your attack now? I mean, it's easy to see so something they, in you. And well, well, come with us, Mary. I'm going to figure down, out a way it's out in there somewhere. I saw hmm. it. I don't know, maybe this could be interesting yeah. here, you know? If you start embracing that, it's going oh, to be a hell of a lot better for stick you. Here. This world's not going to let... Oh, actually, this world's going to <laughs> trample you to death. If you keep being submissive, if you keep backing down. I know you have it in you. I mean, woman to woman. I see how you and um, our dear Rex here interact. Embrace that a little <laughs> bit. More. Good. Because the sooner you do that, the sooner things start to get more interesting. I mean, it's the end of the world, sweetheart. <laughs> you gotta have a little bit of fun, you gotta stand up for yourself, or it sincerely is going to be the end of your day. That's why I wasn't gonna take any bullshit from you or your wife. That's why I'm not taking any bullshit. The second you start to realize that too, you'll be a hell of a lot happier. You are shouting against each other. Is everything all right? We're not. We're not. We're not shouting. Mm. Yeah, they're they're fine. They're fine. Yeah. Yeah. Everything is just fine. We're good. We're fine. Fine. <laughs> Thanks for your sincerity. Trust me, please don't say that sincerity. It's merely, merely security. Oh. Oh. Wow. Well. 
Just, uh, I prefer not to throw any more bodies out, you know what I mean? <laughs> there won't be any bodies here. At least not today, and not from the two of us. <laughs> Good. Just prefer people usually keep their crap off our grounds. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> He's something, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, seems to be. Who is this person, by the way? Um. Like, I've been standing here listening to the whole conversation. A little bit crazy, oh my god. Oh, you don't know my name. I am Bloody Mary. No, I don't. Bloody Mary. <laughs> yeah. Hey, is that like a nickname? Yeah, it's a nickname. Nickname for. Uh, sorry, what? What? Mm. Sounds like a personal matter. <laughs> I don't know, it's an admirable thing, really. Not a lot of people have blood on their hands, and I don't know how they manage to get through the world without having just a little bit, so... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> um, man. Remember when I was using target practice with my bow? Um, yeah. I was making safe from here, but I kind of got one of the arrows lodged up on the side of the barn. I don't know if you can see it from here, but uh, it's right there, halfway up the top, to the top. Oh, I don't no, know I how I met. I don't know how I met. Then she get up there. Her way up. Um, Yeah, I think it's actually behind, somehow behind the tree. I actually might have to go over there to see, to see it. I just don't know how I got it up there. Oh, here. Take this. My frequency. 